Hello and welcome back to East 8 Lacrimosa of Dana. Last time I remember... Well... We went into our first dungeon. Opened up a new path. And with that... We cleared up a couple of starter quests. And we also dealt with a mid-boss that was about a good 9,300 and some odd HP. And now that we have eight, Let's make our way back to the Nameless Coast camp. And open up another spot before we head back to the dungeon. Oh, and yeah, I forgot. We also did a raid. the gravel that we need to clear. So let's make some space, shall we? A landslide blocks the path. Yeah. After sending a little pot out, everyone in the castaway village drives out. Oh man. The whole path is buried under this landslide. Oh, let's get to work. I need everyone's help to clear this. I miss us. There's so many such ways to survive. And make sure it's ice cold. Back on. Hmm? Oh dear. Don't tell me I was supposed to walk over this way just to clear this landslide. That's exactly right. We're all gonna chip in and get rid of it. <laughs> Spam me, old city talk! Why should I partake in such a minute gesture? We should be preparing a ship, not wasting our time with this. This is not meaningless. There could be other survivors who need our help. Yes, They're right, I come on. We need to focus on saving them. Yeah, we can't leave any stone unturned. Incident fools, how dare you presume to give me orders? <laughs> and how dare you look at me with your lungs and sudden face? I understand your irritation, sir. But searching the army is our top priority. What? That's nonsense! Your priorities are completely askew! As long as our lives need a fairing, we are obliged to help them. That's just common sense. But if you're in such a hurry to leave, why not go to boat yourself? I tire of this rass and talk! Do as you like! Bad athlete. The number of villagers willing to answer a help request has decreased by one. Huh. You just ditched us. 
guess we can't rely on him to help us. We need more people before we can clear this landslide. I'm sorry, Adol, but we should attempt to clear this at a later time. Oh, thank you. That means... We still need eight people! Just because, mister, I don't want to do shit... ...isn't going to help us. Well, he can... Well, we can leave his ass. Not like it's a big problem. So, if we go over here... That's our main task, is to go right back over past where the mid-boss was. And with the gloves... What I also did off camera was do a bit of cleanup in this dungeon by getting some. by actually doing this. Just. You suck. Climbing. And actually finding some, you know, treasure. Oh, and lo and behold. <laughs> I really didn't do much except just in the way of making sure I didn't advance the score. Oh, look at that! I've been um, pressing the flash guard, flash dive. I like the fact that this place is rich. And I do mean very rich in materials. And of course, I also unlocked a couple of new modes for each of our heroes. So what I'm actually doing is just showing you the path I was taking while I was Just doing this on my feet. Yeah. 
Shiva! Oh, a ripe coconut. Very nice. As you can tell, I am making sure I am I'm making progress with skills. Pay the bills. Because even though there each enemy has a certain weakness. The most important thing here is to know to strengthen up any bit of skills you have for each character. It's why it's key to start off super powered by getting all the um but um it's always good to have your best moves powered up, your weapon always at the ready. And if you can max it out early, like I did, by simply doing that, you're good. So now that we've covered that, let's go the proper path. go down and kill those guys, but you know, we want to make some progress. There we go.
care of that. I believe we go this way. Girl, you, you need this. You need you need this so bad. You you need this kind of this kind of cool. We can't go that way because Trey is blocking the way. But it's okay. We need to get, go down here. And we get a strength lister. Look at it. A red cape. Hmm. Okay, so the red cape, as you've seen before, deals more damage as your HP lowers. We don't think we don't we don't mind. Asses to asses, bust the dust.
Make that jump. I see you. some oh, that's our actual boss here It's a chameleon. Clarion, recluse of the silent force. Oh, 
ような気配がするとは思いましたが。Work our magic on it. Very much hits. And he fell right on his ass. Shut him down! Shut down! <laughs> now, I think we can pass without worry. I like the newer Eve games as compared to the older ones because more fluid. So here we are at the Roaring Seashore and we got a trophy. I agree. Let's start looking. No stone in turn, yet I'm no closer to finding a way off this island. I managed to be able to rest, but the current was too strong. I didn't make it very far. Maybe I really am trapped here. Before. No, I can't give up yet. Not while I'm still alive. person we were looking for. And we found a new location. Oh, that's the touch California. Metaphor. 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 
Bokilis. 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 Right mango. You found someone who could be a castaway. Do you want to talk to her? Oh, of course we do. After introducing everyone, Adol explained the situation to the woman. Well, I mean, it's a short sword, so uh, there you go. If you can't tell, she's a smith. Or a Ferris. I'd be happy to, but I need a smithy to work in. If you can provide one, I can maintain the weapons. The farther we go on this island, the stronger the beast gets. And we can't exactly buy new weapons on this island either. Personally, I'd love it if you maintain a weapon if you don't mind. I wonder if we could build a smithy at the village. We have an anvil. She can do the rest. We have hammer and an anvil. She can forge. She will forge. Why don't we discuss this with the captain and build you back at the village, Mr. Christie? Hmm. Yeah, let's head back to the village. Adol and the others decided to escort Kathleen back to Castaway Village. From there, after consulting with Babros and Dogi, they decided to build a smithy in the village. Using debris they had, that had washed ashore, they managed to construct a rudimentary furnace and bellows. When it was all said and done, Kathleen had all the equipment she needed to do smithing. So that's our number eight. Hmm. 
just an idea. But I can make do with this for now. Plus, I can use this to compensate for the furnace insufficient heat. Mm -hmm. What is that? This is called a flamestone. It's good for keeping the furnace hot. I only have one on me, but it should do the trick now. And we can finally... Yes, I'd like to start with your sword first, Adol. I can make it stronger by reforging it. So therefore, power up. So weapons can be reforged once you have the necessary materials. So select the weapon that you want to reforge from the blacksmith's menu, and then select reforge. Yeah, you take these out. Bottle iron armor, like we don't have enough. Dougie gave those materials to me. Go ahead and give them a try. So, hook me up, please. Okay, so we have five of these. We need to reforge into something stronger, better. Like so. so. Now the short sword is now a long sword. Methodically forged from tempered steel to prevent wear and tear. Like I said, you can only do it once, but man alive. There you go. Sword. It has the improved. I'm impressed. What do you think, Otto? It's fantastic. <laughs> I knew you appreciate it. Making weapon for a swordsman like you really gets my friends burning. I'm sure it does. <laughs> At all. He doesn't do anything, but man, the list of women keeps growing. But with what I got to work with, that sword's the best I can do right now. If I could keep bringing me flamestones, I can keep on recording weapons. Please bring me any flamestones you find. <laughs> sure thing. Man, blacksmiths are pretty great. We certainly couldn't have performed such skilled weapon refinement ourselves. Cap, but please forgive my impertinence, but do you also know how to forge armor? Of course, that won't be a problem for me. Really? Man, you're useful! We can also forge armor. So, we can just talk to her about it. I got no reason to turn you away when my services can help us get out. Get us off this island. Come to me for anything you need. What is it? For some armor, please. Oh. Oh, the nose. Oh, the nose. Look at this. Oh, look at this. We can get riveted leather for a costly plus 45. I mean, a 41 and 3 in strength. Or we could just get full blown chainmail. Which gives us a boost of 35 in an extra 35 in uh, 32. Where am I getting 35 from? It's 45 in defense versus the riveted armor, which you can get less defense but little more in strength. So, we're going with that. Yeah, let's go with that since... Well, I could do the following for one. Give that to Adol. Give that to Adol. 
give this to um, Sahad. And this I can give to... This I can actually give to um, Laksha. So now we can reforge. We can reforge Laksha and Sahad's weapon. Let's do that. Foil. An official fencing sword used at tournaments. And we change the heavy anchor to. An iron knocker. An anchor with enhanced durability and more weight. So that means an extra 55 with a def with a defense loss of 10. Okay, so we got new quests. Boat boat building. So I talked to Captain Barbaros inside to assemble a small boat. Can someone help me gather materials? If you have these, please contact Dogi. Uh -huh. I would like to create new accessories. Let me practice with difficult materials. Whatever you, whatever you have time is fine. Could you please bring me the following? Three thick hide. Oh, Hubers. Hilpers. There are swarms of bees called Hilpers at the nameless coast. They reproduce fast and leaving them be is dangerous. Please thin their numbers. What to Captain Barbaros. Ah, uh, that's a Hilpers. According to Pato, they have an astonishing reproduction, reproduction rate. Reproduction, Re reproduction rate. If we leave them alone, it could become problematic. If you find a large group of them, please consider thinning their rings for depending on you. Oh, thank you. What's up, Dougie? Did you see my request? <laughs> I'm trying to build a small boat. If you find three Latika resin and give them to me, I can waterproof it. Keep me alive to find some. Counting on you. Wherever they are. So we have a smith here. An epicathery. Apocathery. And. I'm trying the English very hard, folks. Very, very hard. Oh. <laughs> And we also have accessories over here. So we happen to have three thick hides. More than enough, so here you go. Thank you very much, Adam. I'll get right on it. It was a little harder than I expected, but somehow I managed to finish. Please take this. A gold cape! Very nice. This looks amazing. R really? Yeah, it's a gold cape. Come on now. I bet my husband could have finished it without any trouble at all. Still, I'm glad I was able to finish it all by myself. I can't pick up a weapon and fight like you and the others, Adam. But I still want to help everyone in the village. My tailing skills nowhere near my husband's. But I don't want to give up. I want to do everything I can. So if you ever need anything tailored, 
prefix me. Sure. <laughs> Approval has increased. More accessories can be made. So she can actually make shield bell rings, snake amulets, lightning amulets, crow amulets, red capes, blue capes, pearl talismans, a hope stone, a gold cape, a hunter hat, and a dancer shawl. You want that crit rate to go up, mm-hmm. You want that evasion rate to go up, mm-hmm. She can also make a nature vest, a lively tunic, leather gloves. And I need a wristband. She can also make all these except we don't have enough um except we just don't have the following soft fiber we don't have enough soft fiber but as you can tell Nothing wrong with having a little more to your defense and HP, as well as a little bit of evasion. That really does help, you know. Not gonna lie. I was just about to post this on the bulletin board, but given its importance, it's best if I talk to you about it in person. Thanks to your efforts, the search for castaways has gone very well. But the village is still a <coughs> but the village is still at risk of being raided by beasts. So we can't let our guards down. I'd like you to help us fortify the, the village defenses. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm happy to help. Once again, I am sorry to ask you to do so much for us. Dude, I'm the War of Light. I'm at all the red. I'm whatever the game likes to call me because I'm a goddamn hero. That's why. We should stop by building structures to protect ourselves from the beast. Mm-hmm. I was thinking of building a watchtower over on the I think that would help the village just feel safer. Mm, I hmm, thank you. We need to fortify our raid defenses as well, but at the moment, a watchtower is top priority. We need to gather enough sturdy material so we can build one. The Prado has told me it's a, of some promising areas where some materials can be found. A vast canyon can be found more from the nameless coast. There you can find three areas where high quality wood and stone can be gathered. Okay, you want us to bring some there? A vast is a series of taking for you to do by yourself. We need to determine just how viable these materials are. I would hate to. I would hate for you to chop down the tree and drag it back here and do nothing. First, we need someone to thoroughly scout the area. And I'd like you to be that person. Sure. Thank you. This will help us considerably. Please report to me once you've, locate, once you've located the materials. Be careful of that. So, there you go. We got a required quest. Watchtower construction. Exploration points have been marked on the map. On 
the north end of the nameless shore, you will find a large valley. Three locations in that valley should use high quality wood in all. Please scour that area for them. Finally, you've done a fine job filling out the map. This isn't exactly a reward, but I'll give you this. I found it on the island. I think it may be a treasure left by a pirate. It's a hill potion. Thank you. You truly are an adventurer. Great strides in a brief amount of time. Well, I think I, you know, within nine parts here, yeah, I think that was good. If you keep up this pace, you'll surely find more survival. Please continue to work on it. Anybody else? No? Okay. So all of this is. Nearly. So our quest is right here. And our store destination is right here. I don't know what this is. This requires 20. That's the Meta Vocalis. So you know what? I think it's only best that we stop here. And in the next part, we advance the plot a little more and possibly open up more of the island. So stay tuned more of Eve 8. Like the most of Dana, right after this, thanks so much for watching.